It's the RP recap of the Governor's Cup on opening night of the 2023 Thoroughbred Meeting at Remington Park. Sponsored by the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma. I'm Keith Stalaboris for Raceview Network. The $100,000 plus Governor's Cup is for three-year-olds and older at a mile and an eighth, or call it nine furlongs. The five horse was number one dude, a winner of seven stakes events, five of those here at RP. From 21 starts, he's won a total of nine and finished second in six races, all the while running out more than $449,000. He closed out 2021 with a romp in the one mile Jim Thorpe stakes. Later in 2022, he tried the RP turf with a hair-raising victory in the Red Earth Stakes. Trained by Scott Young, number one dude had Leandro Gonsalves in the saddle for the Governor's Cup. Holden the Loot broke from the four hole in RP's first stakes event of the year. Hailing from the Robertino Diodoro training stable, this veteran has earned north of $353,000 while compiling a record of 19 in the money finishes from 33 starts. He's been off the board in a limited number of stakes races. 29 of his starts though, have been at California's major racing venues. Jockey Isaac Costello rode Holden the Loot in Friday night's feature. The Governor's Cup saw the much anticipated return to Remington Park of Warrant, winner of the Grade 3 $400,000 Oklahoma Derby. He went on to compete across the country, mostly in stakes events. In addition to winning the marathon stakes at Churchill Downs, one other highlight came in a very close second place finish to a multiple Grade 1 winner in the Grade 1 Santa Anita Handicap. Warrant's conditioned by Brad Cox, who currently leads the nation's trainers by money one. Warrant returns to run the same distance as his derby victory, one mile and an eight. Luis Fuentes with the riding assignment on the heavy favorite, Warrant. The pair broke from the starting gate's third position. Trainer Scott Young also sent out Paluxy in the nine furlong Governor's Cup. An earner of more than $164,000, Paluxy had won six of his 33 starts, which included allowance wins at Remington and Sam Houston, as well as a minor handicap at Will Rogers Downs. In June at Prairie Meadows, he ran second in an eight and a half furlong stakes event. Breaking from the seven hole as the longest shot in the Governor's Cup field, Paluxy had Floyd Wethy Jr. in the iron. They're off in the Governor's Cup. Clean start, holding the loot, wants to put a nose out there, but number one dude's going to stay right with him. Now Presidential trying to move up between runners near the rail. Kokokomo fourth, Warrant tucks in fifth as they pass the line the first time. A couple links back to the trailer, Sonneman and Paluxy content together about eight off the front as holding the loot takes them into the clubhouse turn by a little more than a length. Presidential keeping up second to the inside. Number one dude is third, two off of it. Midway through the turn, Warren's going to go wide in fourth right now, three off the pace. And to the inside, Kokokomo's right there. Another two, Sonneman, an neck better than Paluxy at the back with six furlongs to go. Opening quarter went in 24.98. They straighten on the back stretch and hold the loot with company from Presidential is on the lead. Now trying to get away from Presidential. Warren not going to wait much longer. Fuentes asking with five furlongs to go, moves up into second. Presidential third, a length better than number one dude. Gap of three, Kokokomo, Paluxy, and Sonoma between them. They move as a trio with just over a half mile left. A half mile one at 50.01 seconds. Nice and easy as they approach the far turn. Warren set to challenge, holding the loot. They're on the front together as they go into the bend. Warren tries to take over. Holding the loot says not yet. Three furlongs to go. Holding the loot. There by a half. Warren second. Gap of three then. Back to number one dude. Paluxy's on the move from the back. Fourth and gaining quickly as Presidential is in somewhat of a retreat. 
Quarter mile to go in the Governor's Cup. Warren to the outside. Hold the loop to the inside. They have sprinted clear. Race on top of the stretch. It's Warrant battling with holding the loot, trying to get by, and holding the loot is resilient at the rail. Here comes Paluxy with a big surge. Less than a furlong to go. Paluxy with all the momentum. Warrant looking for the lead, but Paluxy snatches it away. Warrant digging in. Paluxy trying to get by. Warrant won't give away. And it's going to be Warrant probably noses with Paluxy in the governor's cup. That stretch duel will go down in Remington Park history. Alexi takes aim early in the stretch, and Warrant was his target. But Warrant wasn't about to give anything away, and dug in for a hard-fought battle. Winning jockey Floyd Wethy Jr. I had a lot of confidence on him, middle of the turn over here. Whenever I kind of tapped him on the shoulder just to kind of check and see what I had in the tank, you know, and he gave me exactly what I was looking for and I said they're gonna have to keep going if they stop in any late we're getting there and this way it worked out. Horse has just been getting better and last week when he worked he worked so good and we had a lot of confidence going into this race. It seems like a lot can go through a trainer's mind when his horse is battling with another like Warrant. We was concerned about the pace and they didn't get the pace but we didn't take when it did not want to take this horse's running style away from him so we we, we took back and just was hoping for the best and when I seen him moving, I was pretty confident, but I also know that Warren is a very, very game horse. And when I seen Floyd kind of move out and try to run by him on the outside, I thought, wait, there's a chance. And if, if you watch, Warren felt him coming and dug back in and we got the nod. But uh, today uh, I, was, I was very happy with the outcome of the race. The RP recap is made possible by Treo, the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma. Alexi, the winner of this year's running of the Governor's Cup, is owned by Blue and Gold Racing. Bred in Kentucky by Spindthrift Farm, Alexi is a five-year-old gelded son of Brody's Cause and the master command mare, Miss Pippa. His final time for the mile and an eighth, one minute, 52.77 seconds. Warrant runs second, holding the loot was third. Special thanks to Raceview Network's Jim Byers, helping us with the post-race interviews, and this reminder to watch for Jim on the next edition of the Remington Park Update as we look ahead to what's coming up at Remington Park. Thanks for showing up. We're glad you did. I'm Keith Stahlborys for Raceview Network.